Good evening from Jim AG6IF. Tonight I'm going to try to show how to program a UV5R with a repeater dropping that into a memory location for a channel mode. So I've read a lot of uh, different ways to do that on the internet and I've had a real hard time making any of them work. So uh, I finally figured out how to do it and I thought I'd throw a video out here. So here we go. Set this down. Hopefully that'll work okay. Okay, the first thing you want to do here is uh, you select your VFO channel mode. mode. So it's channel mode, mode, VFO mode. Channel mode, frequency mode. We're going to program a repeater uh, that is uh, frequency 146805. It's a minus, shift, and there's a PL100. So that's that'll be our target, and I'm going to store this in memory location 42. So we want to select VFO mode. And then we press the AB button to select VFOA. You program from VFOA. And also 42 is an empty memory location. All those things are kind of required. So we're going to press the band to get into the 2 meter band. So we're in 2 meter band here. First thing we're going to do is menu 1. Menu. Make sure the step is set properly. In this case 5K. Then we're going to go menu 2, menu. high power, and hit power. menu, and then up and down arrow selects it, low and high, then hit menu, Confirm. and exit. Menu 2. Uh, menu 13 is where we put the PL in. Menu, menu. 1, 3. There's 100, hit menu, and you can up and down arrow. Go to 100. Menu. Confirm. And exit. Okay, now that's for tone. If you want tone squelch, that's menu 11. Tone squelch would be for the receive side of the repeater channel, uh, which I'm not going to utilize in this repeater here. Uh, the next we go to uh, menu 25. Menu. And that's the shift. It's a minus. Hit menu, up and down arrow, make it a minus, menu, and exit. Alright, menu 26 is where you put the offset in. Menu, menu. 26. It should be 00600. Offset frequency. And then menu, Confirm. and exit. Okay, now we want to make sure we're in VFOA. So we got A and B here. And we are in A. Okay, now we're going to enter the frequency 146805. One. One, four, six, eight, zero, five. Okay, that will be our receiving frequency of the repeater. And then it's menu 27. Menu 27. And then we're going to go to channel 42. I'm sorry, hit menu Memory and then channel. up and down arrow to go to 42. There we are, 42. Then menu. Receiving memory. And exit. Now we enter the uh, offset frequency uh, 146205. And menu 27 again. Menu. 27. And then menu. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. And exit. So I hit menu twice in there. All right, so the key here is even though you've got the offset and the shift in there, you still have to program both of the frequencies into your selected memory location. That's the interesting thing about this radio. And that's my Shack Cat in the, in the background there. Uh, so it does not pre-calculate that, but you do need the shift in there and the 0600. But you do need to program both frequencies in. The first time you put a, the listening frequency in the, in the location, 
the second time you put in the transmitting frequency, the radio is smart enough to know that's a transmitting frequency because there's already something in there. Uh, that's the tricky part. It's not very well documented, but it does work. So now if we go to our uh, VFO channel mode, channel mode, channel mode and uh, we go to 42, There's two. four two. There's our frequency. That's our receiving frequency, and uh, it should have our offset and everything else in there. So, well, I hope this helps. Um, the UV five R is a nice little radio for uh, under fifty dollars, and the first two or three I encountered were impossible to program. Uh, it, it does work fine with the uh, computer cable and the Chirp software as well. If you get the latest version of Chirp, it will work. But uh, sometimes you're out in the field and you need to put something in, and uh, it's nice to know how to do it from the keyboard. So thank you for watching. This is Jim AG6IF in Southern California. Everyone have a great evening, and 7-3 to all.